What's going on guys? We'll be using Hasslinger today. I had this in a little uh, little thing like this. It's uh, blooming at the moment because this puck is super hard and uh, I haven't used it in a while so it's a little dried out. So I'm kind of letting it bloom for a second. Um, also, <laughs> letting my uh, badger brush bloom. My Maggard, um, what is this? Maggard 26 millimeter uh, super high density knot. Uh, very, very nice brush. Uh, we'll be finishing our shave off today with Mulins. Uh, I think that's how you say it. Mulins or, yeah, whatever. Uh, number 4711. Um, very nice citrus forward scent. Um, I did, I did go back and rehome this because I was disappointed um, the last time I used it. Um, pulled it out expecting to get a good shave with it and then like it was cutting but it wasn't. Cutting. So anyways. It's home now. <laughs> um, and then we have Mitchell's Wolf Fat. So obviously I used this in my last uh, my last shave. I'm gonna pour the water out of here and get ready. Um, <clears throat> I used that Mitchell's Wolf Fat in my last shave. I'm gonna wring this out a little bit, the brush. And at this point, I I'm gonna merge it with something else. I'm gonna grade it up. I have several of these little, I don't know, what, what are these? What are they? Fruit bowls um, that I bought specifically for soap. I didn't take these from the kitchen. My wife would kill me. But I'm gonna grade up that puck of Mitchell's Wolf Fat. And I'm thinking of grading up, not the whole, uh, I'm gonna flick out some of this bubbly stuff. Um, not the whole puck of tobacco, but maybe a quarter of my tobacco puck and combine the two, Mitchell's Wolf Fat and tobacco. Um, and the reason I'm saying that is because, I mean, I like tobacco just as it is. It's a great performer as far as lather, um, but the post shave is lacking. It is. So for, for me, for my skin. So that's what I, th I think that would be the best solution, you know, the, the best remedy for Mitchell's Wolf Fat. So I may make a video of doing that and just seeing how it's gonna gonna end up. I don't know, but good start to the weekend. Hope everybody has. Had a good Saturday. Um, I had to get up really early this morning. Um, well, I mean relative to when I typically wake up for work. I typically wake up for work around um, just before 7. Uh, about 6.45, 6.50. And uh, today, I had to get up at 6. We had an appointment for the baby pretty far away and so yada 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 so um I had to get up pretty early so I'm really tired <clears throat> I actually was looking at the uh like YouTube has an analytics portion on the uh, site for videos and whatnot and I was actually looking at my uh my last video with Mitchell's Wolf Fat and Man, I've got so many comments on that video of, of people basically saying the exact same thing that I that I say, you know, and um, I think that video just went over very well. Look, look at this ladder. Pretty much no effort, just loading directly from my little container. You know, that right there, loading directly from that. And look, look at the ladder. It's not dissipating, nothing. Look at this. It's incredible, you know? And this is how Mitchell's Wolf Fat should be. But it's absolute garbage, so, you know. All right, well, that was anticlimactic. That brush is freaking full. <clears throat> I didn't think I loaded 
that much. This is a very, it, the, the Hasslinger puck is very hard. Maybe those wolf hats very hard as well. They're both, they're both very, very hard soaps. What the hell? Mmm. That didn't taste very good. Uh, the scent on this, I actually like Hasslinger a little better than Mitchell's wolf hat. Honestly, you know, neither one, in my opinion, are like great. Um, the scent, I mean, they're, they're like clean, they're like fresh, but I don't know. They're not really like great scents, in my opinion. So, they're okay. Um, Paul is sending me, well, Paul's sending me a few things. I'm going to, going to make a video and, uh, show you guys that, but <clears throat> one of the things that he's doing is sending me some razors to home, so. Oh yeah, this is it, just much better. Look, it's not foamy, it's not airy, you know, it's not this, you know, so. Eh. Eh, Mitchell's wolf fat, eh. Very nice. Um, one thing about Hasslinger is I don't think you can see we are scraping gunk off of our face, other known, other, otherwise known as hair. But um, one thing I don't, I don't think guys give Hasslinger too much credit. Like everybody try for whatever reason, everybody tries to give give Mitchell's wolf fat a lot of credit for. Whatever, I don't know. Maybe maybe before my time in, in the YouTube wet shaving community, like it was a big deal to I don't know. A big deal to have like a shave with Mitchell's wolf fat, but to me, Hasslinger is a hundred times better. A thousand times better. So yeah, Paul, I'm going to add a little bit of water to this because we are kind of thick. Paul's going to send some razors. He said he wanted me to home. I think he said two, two or three. I don't remember. But he'll send some razors and I'll, I'll probably home them. And, and I think he said, he said it was okay for me to like shave with them. So. I'll hone them up, shave with them, and then um, sterilize them, oil them, and get them out to them. Get them back to them.
this was just a very slow shave today. I don't really have any thing to do or anywhere to be this afternoon, so. Mm. Nice lather. I think one of the comments on the last video, um, the guy said, Uh, Mitchell's wool fat and Hasslinger dry him out. <clears throat> I mean, you know, first off, that sucks. Um, I don't know why that would be. Uh, I know that for my skin, uh, it's it's very moisturizing. At some point in the near future, I do want to do a shavette shave. I have that little half blade from the Rockwell. I used that in my Razor Rock Eco. Um, so I have the other half of that that I need to use. So probably the next shave, well, depending on if I get Paul's razors and Holman before the next shave, but I may use, you know what, let me go across here. I may use a shavette, or I could use Paul's, one of Paul's razors, one of the two. Hasslinger doesn't have that great of residual slickness. Like, I mean, it feels great down here, but other than like with a moisturizing feel, did I nick myself there? What's that? Um, Yeah, other than the moisturizing feel, the and, and the lather, that's that's much better. But the residual slickness is, is in my opinion, not as good as Mitchell's wolf pad. So I guess there's a trade off. But At least with Hasslinger, you can see your lather, you know? That's why I really don't like latherless lathers or soaps, just because you can't see a damn thing. There's like no point, in my opinion. Anyways, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I do like to see my lather though. And that's it. Nice shave. No blood. No blood at all. Yeah, I had to touch that razor up. I don't know. I don't know if I was doing something else. 
between the last time I used it and, and the time it actually shaved. Well, I don't know. I don't know what was going on there. So quite a bit of lather left in there. But um, I don't know, whatever. So that's the shave. Um, you know, like I said, I'm gonna throw on some of my uh, 4711. And that'll be it. I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe. And uh, see you next shave.